Hey YouTube! A surprise little video from me today. Um, I went to the Metro Centre on Friday with my mummy. Um, it was mainly to do some Christmas shopping, but um, she was kind enough to buy me a few bits. Um, if you followed me on Twitter, you'll know we've had a bit of a iffy week and lots of arguments and tension and stuff. But yeah, she was kind enough to buy me a few bits, kind of to see. Sorry, type thing. So yeah, we got a few bits. Um, first of all, I'll start with the little things. Well, little things. Nothing's little these days, as you find out. From Lush. A few Lush. Things from Lush. They've got the Christmas ranges in, which is always nice to see. I'm disappointed they're not doing one of my favourites this year, which is Ruby Red Slippers, blah, blah, blah. I think I've still got one off last year, but... That was my favourite and they don't seem to be doing that anymore, so I'm a bit disappointed. But I did pick up another few a few things that they recommended. Um, what, um, one of the ones that I got last year that I really liked was this one, which is Christmas Eve. It's a nice blue and you have a yellow moon on it and it's lots of iridescent glitter. It's got really nice florally scent, it's really nice. I think I used this on Christmas Eve last year and it's quite a relaxing smell. So I really like that. Um, and I got a couple of the new things. Um, this one, which is called the Bearded Lady, and I think the theory this behind this, the the girl in Lush was saying, that I have to say, staff in Lush Metro Centre are always so nice and so helpful. And she was saying the idea is of the foam beard. We've all made foam hats and foam hair and foam beards, and that's what this is. It doesn't really have much of a smell at the moment, but what she did was she. Put it in the water and the drugs just in a jug of water just to show us and the smell actually comes out more then and it's like a sort of warm nutty smell not overly overpowering or anything like that and it turns the water a lovely milkshake pink color what else um this one which i thought was so cute and you can't see the resemblance but it's actually called the gingerbread house yeah it's a rough interpretation it's got all sorts of hundreds and thousands of things on the top and it smells really nice. It smells like sort of spicy, slightly fruity ginger nuts. And I really like that. It's really nice. So that's one of the new ones as well. And I also got one of the new soaps. Um, as per usual, the usual Christmas soap is there. Snow cake. And um, Angel, Angel's Delight, which I love. I've still got one from last year. And snow cake. I hate snow cake. It smells like marzipan. And I hate marzipan. World's worst marzipan here. So I got this one. Which is, let's have a look, what's it called? Mandarin's Tea Party. And it smells, if you got the snow showers bath jelly last year, or you've had the champagne bath bombs in previous years, I'm sorry about my fringe, it's an absolute mess. It smells exactly like that. It's a lot of orange, orangey, slightly sparkly, slightly citrusy, quite fresh. Really nice smell. I really like that. So I have to hack the lump up because all the lumps were like, 20 pounds worth and I was like no I'm not paying that um and guess what it is I got something else from Lush Christmas collection and I wonder if you can guess what it is come on what does everyone buy at Lush at Christmas snow fairy and I've got the point in my way which ruined the effect snow fairy um the girl was actually telling me that she knows somebody she was watching some on eBay and it went for £60 for a litre bottle of Snow Fairy when they were limited edition litres last year. £60. But I have to admit, it is nice, but I wouldn't pay £60 for it. She says she doesn't think they'll ever discontinue this. And dare I say, I, I didn't get this one last year. My fringe, I'm sorry, I hate my fringe. I'm trying to grow it out is the worst thing ever. Anyway, back to Snow Fairy. <laughs> Snow Fairy Shower Gel for body and hair, candy floss pink and sweet as sugar with iridescent sparkle and a hint of wicked fruitiness. It's really nice. I didn't get any last year, but it smells like sort of boiled sweets and candy rock to me. Just a really nice fragrance and pleased to have that. And who made mine? This was made by Muhammad. There you go, there's Muhammad. So he made mine. <sighs> Customary copy of the Lush Times. So that was it. She was lovely and helpful, really nice. Um, then we went to Primark. She got me some Christmas presents, and then you can guess what they are pajamas. 
are some fabulous pyjamas and Primarchers here. Really nice. And they've got the all-in-one romper suits as well, which, to be honest, if we get the wor worst winter run workout that they keep promising us, we'll probably need romper suits. Anyway, some of these. These are the under-control, seam-free shape at leggings that are light control i've heard somebody talking about these actually and they're supposed to be quite good and they're like ultra tight stretchy leggings for wearing under clothes and what have you or on their own so i thought i'd give them a try they're only four pound and obviously squish a bit of fat in that i don't want i think i'd i think the conclusion i'd rather be fat and happy rather than skinny and miserable. I'm sorry I like chocolate too much. And people, you can't expect me to diet before Christmas. I mean, Starbucks toffee nut lattes are back. I had one today, and it, today, Friday, and it was yummy. It was so nice. I love toffee nut lattes. I've got to try an eggnog one though this year. I've never tried the eggnog before, and so I've got to try an eggnog one. But yes, so pleased the red cups are back. And I also had some gluten-free chocolate and hazelnut cake as well, which was really nice from Starbucks. Love Starbucks. Yes, they're a multi-million dollar company and all the rest of it, and they're bad, bad, bad. But they make nice coffee. <laughs> right, final thing she got me, which I really didn't expect her to. Um, we're just having a little sniff of perfumes, and as you do, going through the perfume counters, etc. And I'm a bit of a scruff. I had this top on on Friday. I'm only sitting around the house, not doing anything, so still got a top on. And I sprayed my top with this because I've never tried it before. I've mentioned it in a previous video that I wanted to try it and I never had. So I sprayed it on, on and then I walked around the shop for, for a bit and we bought some other things. And then I bought this. Then she came back and she, I decided she bought me it. She bought me it, which was very sweet of her. This is the 30ml bottle of the Eau de Parfum and it is Vivian Westwood and it is Naughty Alice. And I have to say, as per usual with me, the bottle is super cute. 30 mil. I think she paid about £35 for this, which, to be honest, is a bit pricey for such a small bottle. But, as I say, nothing's cheap these days. So that's the bottle. It's... Shit, my mum's not keen on it, but to me, it, it reminds me of someone or something from my childhood. And I can't think what. But, you know, when you get a smell and it just takes you back, but you don't... I'm not entirely sure where it's taking me to, but it does remind me of something. It's quite florally, very very feminine, but there's a sort of depth to it that I wasn't expecting from the descriptions, but it is really nice. And you get the charm bracelet, Oops. which might or might not fit my rather chubby wrists, but we'll see. <laughs> I've always put a little extra under chain on, but yeah, you get the Vivian Westwood bass charm bracelet to go with the bottle. But it looks quite sweet tied around the bottle anyway. So she got me that. I also had a spray of Juicy Couture. Is it Love Peace and Juicy Couture? Well, the one with the turquoise sort of bead of beading around the neck. And that was nice. That's a grower on me, I think. Um, but one thing I've determined that I don't like, and it's and it's awful that I don't like it because everyone says I should like it, and I've tried it again. And it's not happening for me, and that is Victor and Rolf, Rolf and Flower Bomb. It's not happening. It's. My mum says it's all ladyish, but I, I don't think it's so much that. I just find it too sweet. Probably because when I was in Debenhams, I was next to the, well, we're next to the nails ink counter, and somebody was getting gels done, and it reeked. So the guy from one of the perfume counters was going around, and he was drenching the entire shop in Flower Bomb. And to be honest, the last behind the counter said she was said she was nearly going to be sick because it was just so sweet. And I think that's what it is. I think it's the sweetness. Anyway, moving on, my perfume prattle. Um, the purpose of going to the Metro Centre on Friday was um, I received an, an invitation to the opening of the new Appy Feet um, salon shop um, in the Metro Centre on Monday. Fortunately, I had a prior appointment and I couldn't go. But they were kind enough to offer for me an appointment, well, it's non appointment basis, um, for a chance to go down and to review the treatment for my blog and for yourselves. So I went down, and in case you don't know, Happy Feet, Gara Ruffer Fish, they are, it's a pish, a pish pedicure? 
a fish pedicure. So I went down for a treatment. I have to say everyone was absolutely lovely. They were so friendly um, so helpful. Very nice. All the staff were there were really nice. Um, I did get this treatment for free. I have to say I did get this treatment for free, but this isn't altering what I think about it. I did really enjoy it and I did really rate it. Um, so much so I actually bought my mum a gift voucher set um, for Christmas. So me, me and my mum can go together. Um, so um, I got that. But I, as I say, it was for free, but I did really enjoy the treatment. Um, it's brilliant. It was a bit scary at first, putting your feet in a sort of a thing with about 150 fishies floating around in it. But um, it was really good for my skin. I'm going to your skin. I'm going to do a full review on my blog for you, for you, so you can read more about the treatment and what it actually entails and what it's actually good for, more about the company themselves. But um, I'm going to leave you with in, in this video with a um, little video clip of my experience at Happy Feet on Friday um, and you can see the little fishies. Apologies if you don't like tootsies but that's what this is about um, and any questions please let me know and as I say I'll try and do a full review. I'm going to do a full review of my experience on Friday and I'll leave that on my blog. Until then enjoy my fishies. Any questions on anything else please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye! Yeah. 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 Yeah.